one of, one of my favorite things to do in all of preaching, all of pastoring is dedicating babies, especially when they're staff grandbabies. So we're going to invite the, the young couple and anybody that's going to help us with, with dedication, come on up, pass off the baby. LaDonna gets to take her. No, she'll be all right. Oh, look. That's part of life. We love crying. Good morning. Welcome back. Good to see you, girl. Good to see you in a couple weeks. Y'all want to come up? Vicki. And this is Vicki's mom. And Mark Good. This is... Brianna's dad and Dustin somebody brother and Dustin's grandmother and Dustin's aunt and Dustin's niece cousin and Dustin's uncle everybody just kind of move on down if you want to move on around and while LaDonna's showing off Miss Eleanor isn't she a beautiful little girl we have a present for you Oh, I'm sorry, my grandmother. Good to see Dustin's mom, Dustin's cousin, and Dustin's cousin. Well, you got a big family here, amen? We have a, a blanket, and we have a Bible, and a silver spoon, and a something else that I didn't know what it was. It's a little silver thing, and then a, and then a certificate, okay? And a Bible, all those kind of stuff. So. LaDonna's going to show her off. We're glad that y'all are here today. Thanks for coming, everybody. You're a good-looking fan. You're a handsome young man. Can you be, can you be a good cousin for, for Ella? Okay, very good. She's done good. Oh, she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. Well, we gather today for the purpose of baby dedication. It's a special event for Eleanor Love. And I found out that Eleanor means the other. And I thought, that's kind of strange. And she was named after her mother, Ella. And then Eleanor comes from her mother. But also from Greek, meaning the shining light. So we're excited about that. Matter of fact, did you know that two first ladies have been Eleanor? Eleanor Roosevelt, but the other one I didn't know was Rosalind Carter. First name is Eleanor, Rosalind Carter. So she can rise up to become, she needs to be the president. She needs to be more than just the first lady. She can be the president. The act of baby dedication that we're doing today comes from Hannah. Hannah took her boy to the Lord and said, He's, he, I prayed for him. And all these years I wanted him, and now I'm going to give him back to you. She said, I prayed for this child, and the Lord has granted me that of which I asked. So now I give him back to the Lord for his whole life. We also see in the New Testament how that John the Baptist was given to the priest by Elizabeth and Zacharias. And scripture says in Psalms, Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord and fruit of the womb is his reward. Jesus said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. The service of dedication is the presenting of the child to the Lord for to bless and to use, but it's also in a real sense for mom and dad to say, Father, we want you to have this little girl as a public declaration of your desire to nurture this child in the ways of God. So in recognition of that, I, I, along with this great privilege that God has given you, Brianna, God has created a special place in the hearts of moms for the rearing of mothers. The earliest concepts that God will receive of love and, and of who he is will come from you. So placed upon you the responsibility to display warmth and sustenance and love and purity of heart. I therefore charge you to display the purity of heart with which God has purposed you to endow in your home. To display the scriptural submissive love for your husband as the church loves the Savior. And to seek early to lead your child in the acceptance of Jesus Christ as her Savior. And to see that you're in church and worship with her and model worship for her. And to avail yourself of all the scriptures and Christian writings which will lead Ella to a greater understanding and experience of Christian motherhood. If you accept this charge, you do say, I will. And Dustin, the concepts of God's strength, courage, hatred of evil, and a father's image will come from you. As you lead your home, your child will 
to get a glimpse of Jesus' leadership of the church. So I therefore charge you to display that your position as leader in the home by taking responsibility of directing and making your home a Christian home. To demonstrate the love of God by loving your wife as Christ loved the church and give himself for her. To build your home on the words and the teachings of Jesus Christ and see that your family has every opportunity and benefits of a loving church for a home and an active participation. Your job depends upon it. Literally. And to guard your home from anything that would injure the soul of this little girl. If you accept this charge, would you say, I do? And to you both, I charge you that you will do your very best to provide a stable environment for this little girl and her siblings as they come, save from personal things that might harm the precious little one that God has given you. To bring her up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord. And if in her divine plan, God's divine plan, he wants to use Eleanor Love in some special way of ministry, that you would encourage that call and, and help that call. So I'm going to present you with a lovely rose this morning. And it's a symbol of her life. And as we share this very fact about this little girl, when God created her, he wanted her to be a certain way. If you'll encourage her and let her unflower and unfold as God has designed her, she'll become a very big, beautiful thing for the whole world to see and for, be a blessing for you. But if you try to shape her like you want her, you'll, you'll ruin her. Let God open her before the world. And to you grandparents, you have special things for you, special people. I charge you to, to be there for this little girl, to show her love and Christian faith. That was what was presented to Timothy by his mother and his grandmother, to protect her and to love her and support her and to encourage her in every way you possibly can. Guard her. And if you accept this challenge, would you say, we do? We do. And to the rest of you family, I charge you to be a good family for this little girl. She's a sweet little one. Huh? She's alive and open. And she's ready to talk to the congregation. So I challenge you to take, take this little girl and love on her. So as I receive her from Miss LaDonna this morning, she's tiny. Now, Grace, this is a new staff granddaughter. Her name is Eleanor, but you call her beautiful. You call her Ella. If you promise this morning as a congregation to provide a good church home for her, to love on her, to encourage her, to pray for her, would you say we do? So, Father... Thank you for this beautiful girl. Father, we prayed for her, we asked for her, we looked for her, and now you've given her this beautiful girl. So as mom and dad and grandparents of this congregation receive her from you, we give her back to you. And Father, may we all do our very best to raise her, to nurture her, and to rear her in the faith of Jesus Christ. Bless her, oh God. I pray that you'd protect her from any evil, any main, anything that could come against her to harm her soul or her body. Bless this little one, Father. I pray that someday she might, if not the president, maybe she become a great pastor or the general superintendent of the Assemblies of God. Bless this little girl, Father. And may she represent the shining light and the love that she's been called. Bless her now in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. She's a pretty girl. She loves her pastor. She loves her pastor. Yeah, she does. Did y'all see her? Okay, we're going to give her to one of y'all. Amen. Congratulations, we're so happy for you. Congratulations to all of you. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for being with us. God bless. God bless.